are sponsored by council member Heather Rosenthal. This will require the Department of Social Services to review and report on the provision of services to individuals who identify a lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, queer, questions, intersex, gender, non-conforming, and non-binary, who are entering domestic violence shelters, including a review of the data collected and outreach efforts. Really? <laughs> Start again. Okay. Domestic violence and intimate partner violence affects many people who identify as LGBTQI+. But little is known about the services that city provides specifically for the population of survivors. The bill will require the administration to review and report on, on how it allows individuals who are entering DV shelters to self-identify. What services, supports, and resources it offers specifically to those that population. Outreach efforts and any complaints the department has received about DV shelter services provided to the LGBTQ plus residents. The bill would also require DSS to ensure recommendations for enhancing is outreach efforts and services. Finally, the bill will require DSS to require with the community to work with a community-based organization to develop and provide culturally competitive training to DV shelter staff who directly work with residents who identify as LGBTQI+. I would like to thank my staff from the, from the Ledge Division, Chloe Rivera, Bianca Vital, for their work on this bill. I will now turn it over to Councilmember Rosenthal for remarks on her legislation. Thank you so much, Chair Diaz, and I really want to thank the co-sponsors of this bill, Council Members Gibson, Ayala, Kalos, Lewis, and of course yourself, uh, Chair Diaz. Um, you know, the courage and the hard work of the lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, queer, questioning, intersex, gender non-conforming and non-binary communities um, and thanks to all the amazing advocates and the allied elected officials like the city council's women's caucus. Um, thank you, council member Lewis and the city council's LGBT plus uh, caucus. We're talking, um, we are taking these important issues and the steps necessary so that all New Yorkers have equal access to critical services. When it comes to domestic violence and the TGNC NB population, um, things can get thorny and complex. And it's so important, it's so important that the city um, have, that the city workers have the tools necessary in order to serve this community with dignity. And this bill tries to get at just that, requiring more training, requiring uh, data collection where possible, and um, requiring the city to think harder on how to serve this population. So I really wanna thank the committee staff, um, Chair Diaz's committee staff, uh, Chloe Rivera, um, and of course, uh, in particular, the advocates from the anti-violence um, project, uh, Kat Shrug. So thank you with that, and, and with that, I vote I and encourage my colleagues to do so as well. Good morning, this is the Committee on Women and Gender Equity. Roll call vote on proposed intro 1712A, Chair Diaz. I vote aye, and especially someone that's come out of the shelter system, none the true need. I thank my colleagues for working on this bill and moving it forward, thank you. Council Member Kalos. Aye, with congratulations to the sponsor. Council Member Rosenthal. I vote aye with gratitude. Council Member Lewis. 
Congratulations to the bill sponsor. I vote aye. Council Member Gennaro. I vote aye. Thank I you. congratulate uh, uh, um, Helen and the chair and all the sponsors uh, and wish to have my name added as a sponsor. And with that, I proudly vote aye. Thank you, Chair Diaz, by a vote of five in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and zero abstentions. Proposed intro 1712A pass is adopted. Thank you. Meeting is now adjourned. <laughs>